I need to talk about Killian Hayes and his injury. Now, I had posted a video yesterday talking about his injury concerns, and then, a little to my knowledge, a couple of minutes later, like right before I was about to post the video, I get a notification on my phone that says Killian Hayes is gonna be out from four to six months, and then I'm, I'm looking to see like if I can find some more information, and then they say there isn't a timetable, and then someone notes it that there's four to six weeks, so right now, and then also people said that he might be out for the rest of the year. So right now, it's just a thing where, I, in my eyes, we don't know when he's coming back. He may come back this year. He may come back next year. He may come back in five months, six months, four months. We don't know. It's just one of those things that's up in the air. But one of the things that really do concern me is, it was, I believe it's called a labrum tear. I'm not a doctor, so obviously I'm not, you know, into this medical profession thing. But people in my comment session were coming and telling me that that was the same injury that happened to Isaiah Thomas and as soon as I heard that and then I looked it up I got scared because we obviously know what happened to Isaiah Thomas um, on Boston 30 points per game um, one of the greatest at the time one of the greatest offensive scorers in the league and then after his injury we know what happened to him he bounced around from team to team and now we know where he is right now and obviously ever since his injury he's just been going downhill now you could also say that that's a thing to do with age as well because um, by the time Isaiah Thomas averaged 30 points per game, he was already in his late to mid 30s. But at the same time, it's still you still just can't ignore the fact that that injury had to take a lot out of him. So when I hear that Killian Hayes has the same injury that happened to Isaiah Thomas, it just scares me. Red flag, red flag, red flag. Now, and this is obviously disappointing because Killian, he was struggling. But you know what they say, you know, failure, struggle is one of your greatest teachers. And... I would have much more preferred for Killian Hayes to go through the rest of his rookie year going up against better point guards and just struggling all around. I would have much prefer, preferred for him to struggle the entire year for him to be out for the entire year or be out for six to four or whatever months. I would just much more prefer him to be playing these games and learning from his mistakes and just, you know, watching these games from home and studying film. You can only do so much by studying film. If you're not actually on the court, I don't know if you can really put that that, that knowledge to you not putting the, the knowledge to use because you're just watching the games and another thing is that with this injury I'm also concerned with the fact that it is a serious injury now I'm not talking about in terms of his development because with this injury he may get worse instead of getting better like was let's say let's take the base killing of his right now all right let's look at the player that he is right now a lot of holes in his game some things that we like as well especially on defense but let's say this injury is just like the isaiah thomas injury and it's going to have mad effects on him that's going to mean that killing hayes will not be able to improve and progress in the future and that also means that his skills are going to diminish and his skills already right now they're not the greatest so it's just one of these it's just a rough thing i wish it didn't happen but if I am gonna say anything positive about this, I mean, I guess we're gonna have someone like Wayne Ellington, I mean, not Wayne Ellington, Sfima Kailuk get more minutes, Derrick Rose get more minutes to hopefully bump up his trade value. Maybe Sekou, when he gets 100% healthy, we can bump up his trade value. And also just um, the rest of the guys, everybody else, Sadiq Bey, um, DeLon Wright, just give everybody else um, the minutes that Killian Wood in the beginning. Maybe, who knows, Saban Lee might get a, a chance at the roster. I know we just recently picked up Frank Jackson as well, so we might get some look at Frank Jackson. It's just, it just sucks. I wish it didn't happen, but if we're looking at something positively, if we can, at least we're going to get to get some guys more minutes so that they can up their trade value. So I guess that's the only positive you can say from this. It's just, it sucks for Killian Hayes. I hope he gets healthy. And I hope it's not, you know, he's not out for the rest of the year. And I hope that this isn't going to be a thing that's going to destroy the rest of his career. So, Pistons fans, let me know how y'all feel in the comment section below. Like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Thank you all for 1K. Tell me how y'all feel in the comment section about Killian Hayes and this injury. Do you think it's a really big deal? Are you not taking it that seriously? Just let me know how y'all feel in the comment section below. I'm out.